So last week I was listening to the podcast, Another Mother Runner, and I don't know if it was the most recent episode, but the one I was listening to was on injury and how to work through that both mentally and physically. They did a really great job. I'm kind of just walking through all the different facets of injury and running. But something that um, one of them said, and I can't remember which one, but someone said that you need to really treat the injury like your new sport. And so that is how I've been approaching this week, and it's been really helping me to kind of sort through all of this stuff. So what I wanna do for you today is I wanna walk you through the whole plan of what I've been working on and kind of show you some things that I've been doing Maybe they'll help you or give you some ideas or at least show you what I've been working on. Um, I'd like to think that I've been just sitting up and putting my foot up. I'm doing some of that, but most of it is active recovery and just working on some specific things to try to get better. So here it is. So here's what I've been using to kind of stabilize my leg, I guess. I'm using a lot of um, KT tape and this one is hot pink, which is pretty cute if you want to see this like lines of tape on your leg. But um, I also used a nude color for like work because it's more professional when I am going into the office. It's less obvious to see. But um, this brace is also nice for the evenings. It just gives a little more stability even than this because you can put this um, pretty doggone tight, which is which is nice. Um, but it is a little thicker, so it's hard to wear that with work shoes. So I really just kind of use that for the evening, and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. When I was injured, I used this, I took maybe three every five hours, and now I just take a couple whenever it starts to feel really sore, which is usually just um, like mid-morning, and then in the evening before bed, it's kind of like sore and tired. So that's ibuprofen. Lots of ice. Oh my gosh. So I do this at least twice a day, icing for about 20 minutes, and this thing is handy because it's like these little beads, and actually this one can go hot or cold, and here I'll show you this is. So therapearl.com if you want to check out this one. So you can also put it in the microwave and get hot. Um, I haven't done that because I just want the cold, but this wraps around, I think this is for ankles and wrists. So that's um, pretty nice to have that so you don't have to like hold ice like on it. And then I also just do a um, giant bag of ice in the Ziploc. And that's a little bit easier to get because my injury goes, again, it's kind of under the ankle and then up the back of my leg. So this is nice to get in there because this doesn't always wrap around to that spot very easily. So this can really get in there when I have time to really relax, put it up and um, and really get some good ice everywhere. So that's nice to just have. I mean, it's not fancy, but it, it works pretty well. So I do a lot of that. And for exercise, here is my bike. Been getting on the bike a couple times a week, but I will admit I've struggled to find time to do it. In the past, um, when my husband has been going out for hockey in the evenings, I've been able to get on the treadmill, but treadmill hasn't been an option lately. So what I did what I, was I ordered a trainer. That should help so I can put the bike on that and bike inside. The other thing about the bike that's important is um, these, these pedals. I was in clipless pedals before my injury, but um, clipping out with the injury really just kind of freaked me out. It might have been fine, I'm not sure, but just that ankle flip to get out in an emergency situation, I didn't want to get, um, I didn't want to make it worse than it was. So I put these, these back on uh, when I went to the bike store to take them off. Everyone was um, kind of like, oh no, are you putting those back on? But you know what? It's it, that's where we are right now. So. so the cycling is mostly what I've been doing for exercise in addition to getting back in the gym and lifting weights, focusing on upper body and core, just um, because obviously um, leg day probably doesn't make a lot of sense given where I am now, but that's kind of what is happening for exercise. And so I've also been doing a couple things for rehab stretches just to loosen up the tendon. One of those is a toe lift, which is pretty much um, just again, basically lifting up the toe which gets a stretch right in through that tendon. I hold that for a few seconds and then release. And then I did about 10 reps, take a rest, and then do that again for about three sets. So that, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, uh, I feel that quite a bit. 
So the other exercise I've been doing to strengthen my ankle is to use this foot, which is the non-injured foot, to provide resistance for, for this one. And so um, I'll just put this one on top and um, again, applying pressure with my other foot, which is kind of hard to fight yourself, but um, just use that to pull up and provide resistance and just give it, give it a little um, pressure to fight back against to get stronger. So again, doesn't look like much, but it really has been making a difference. This is one that my um, the specialist I went to see, the orthopedic surgeon recommended, and it's been helping immensely. So that is it. That's what I've been working on so far this week. Going to continue doing that into next week. And um, in closing, I also want to give a shout out to WV Running Don, and I'll put a link to his YouTube channel here too, but he has been a huge supporter of my channel, and he has his big marathon coming up next weekend, so um, shout out to you, Don. Great luck with your race, and I really highly suggest if you like my channel to check out his too, because he's really great at putting uh, weekly updates about his, mar his marathon training and what he's been working on. And he's been very diligent with sticking to the Hal Higdon, I think it's Novice 2 plan, so check that out. Otherwise, that is all I have for this week. I hope you are all having a great week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!